Hello, this is Mr. Adams. I'm uh, here with uh, Myla. Uh, I shared her uh, some stories of her with the kids. Just wanted them to uh, see that she is real and she is incredibly cute. All right, but I'm going to let her go now. And uh, I'm here to share with you some uh, more detailed information about what's coming on Monday uh, with the online learning and the three different things that we're going to be using to communicate, to watch videos, to do tests and quizzes, and so on. All right, to begin with, SchoolWorks. SchoolWorks is something that we've been using all year, but we're going to be probably ramping that up a little bit. You need to check SchoolWorks every day. I'm going to be communicating, Mrs. Fleming's gonna be communicating through SchoolWorks, and it's also a way for you to uh, get back to us about any problems you might be having with the systems or the glitches you're having, things like that, concerns that you have. Right. Um, check that every day. You're going to be seeing not just homework, but also the lesson plans. We're making our lesson plans public because all they're gonna really have in them is the lesson number that they're going to the students that you guys are gonna be accessing in uh, the abeca.com website right, to view the videos, to watch the classrooms. So those lesson numbers are going to be there. And then sometimes I have some extra things like, hey, there's a quiz coming up. Uh, be ready for that. Don't forget you can use Quizlet. You know, a lot of different things that I might be sharing in that. Sometimes it's just the lesson number and that's all that's there. Sometimes I'm sharing some extra things like if there's a quiz coming or a test or something like that. Um, also, uh, at times, it's good to, you've got to make sure you're, accessing that site and checking it to make sure that you're on the right lesson number. Because for instance, in uh, history this week, um, they will start with lesson 102, I believe it is, and we'll do 103 and we might, but I think we skip a couple lessons because they're doing some things that we're not doing. They're doing a geography bowl and uh, a current event thing that we're not doing right now. So there's no sense in watching those when we can key on those things where we need to move through the curriculum. So I might skip a couple lessons. So accessing SchoolWorks and seeing what lesson you're supposed to watch is critical every day. Then the abeka.com. That's where you will go to watch the videos of the different lessons. For instance, you'll log into the math class and you'll log in, you'll go, you'll click into the math and what lesson you want to watch because it'll tell you in SchoolWorks what lesson to click on. And then you'll watch the video. It's they're going to review, they're going to do flashcards, they're going to do a lot of the same things that you see me doing. They're going to do that only they have more resources than I did. So they're going to be going through that. You're going to be a little bit, you know, taken back by how fast they can do all the addition and those kind of things, don't worry about that. Um, you're just there to watch, learn the lesson, and then you'll be doing the homework and so on that I spell out for you in SchoolWorks for that lesson. It'll usually be the same homework that they're talking about in the lesson as well. So, they have teachers teaching those classes. They were some of their best teachers that they've chosen. You almost feel like you're in the classroom. You're there. They're going to be zooming in on the blackboard, zooming in on the work that they do. You know, those kind of things. The camera will move around and follow the teacher and you'll be able to hear just fine. I've watched some of the lessons uh, and I think you'll, you'll enjoy uh, what they do in those lessons. So, there'll be five math lessons each week and four history for me for the orange group and four science lessons each week. Monday, the first day, there's only language arts and math. We wanted to start it off easy, a little bit slower. So that's what you're going to do the first day is just language and math. Um, Google Classroom, right? Google Classroom. That's where you're going to be doing your tests and quizzes. We have it set up. We're going to be using that. Mrs. Fleming and I might use it a little bit differently. With the math, it's going to be difficult for you to take the quizzes and tests 
in the system, but you'll see the quiz and test. You'll be able to read it, and you'll have to do the problems and answer them and so on on a separate sheet of paper. All right. Uh, you can, if you can, print out that test and do it on that. That's fine. Go right ahead. Um, then we'll have to figure out whether you're going to take a picture of those things. The same thing with the homework, where you're going to take a picture of it, email it to me or something, or uh, I'm thinking about being at the school every day on Tuesday where I'm there all day long, parents can come in, drop off the schoolwork and for the previous week, and then I'll be able to grade it and enter it in the grade book and so on. But we're still, whatever works, kind of whatever works best for you. If you want to do it to pick a picture and email it, whatever it works for you, that's fine. If you want to uh, download it into your computer and do it that way, whatever you want to do it and email it, that works, that works as well. All right. So um, that's the Google Classroom aspect of it. Now, one more thing before I let you go. Uh, we have, uh, we know, Mrs. Fleming and I talked about this and we talked the, to the administration about it as well, that when you are doing the tests and the quizzes, you're going to have all kinds of resources surrounding you. I don't like making rules that I can't enforce. In the classroom, if you take out your book during a test and look up answers, I'm going to take your test from you and you're going to get a zero. It's cheating. <laughs> All right. But we're not going to, you know, I can't enforce anything like that. What we want you to do is study the material, take the quiz and the test on the day that it's due and be able to, you know, study it and do well on it. But we know that, and maybe you study it, you take the test and there's a few questions that you don't get and you look those up in the book and find the answers, we're okay with that. We're okay with that. We don't want you to be surrounded by the temptation to sin and cheat, right? So we're telling you now, it's not cheating. It's not cheating. So now as parents, the, your parents might decide, hey, I want you to do this, and they're gonna, and they might monitor you while you take tests and quizzes and that's totally up to them and they can do that and that's fine. I, we totally get that. Right? But we know that sometimes they won't be able to do that and there's that great temptation there because you've got your textbook right there. You've got the Google. <laughs> you've got Siri. you got Alexa. But by the way, I asked Alexa a question today and she didn't get it right, so I wouldn't use Alexa. Not, not a good idea. Um, but anyway, uh, we just want you to, to, to feel at ease about that. All right, Do the best you can. We want you to learn how to study. All right? And it's going to be a little more difficult. I'm not here to tell you what to highlight in the history and the science and so on. Uh, so you're going to have to study all the terms for the quiz. It only has 10 questions on it. Sorry about that. I told you it was coming, by the way, didn't I? I didn't know it was going to happen this way, but I told you it was coming. So if you have any other questions about uh, how things are working, parents, students, either one, go ahead and use Schoolwork. Send me an email, um, and we'll, we'll work through all this together um, and get it done. And I believe that this is a great way for uh, you folks to still get a great education, to learn what you need to know, particularly we're focusing on those areas of math and language arts so that you have the foundation to go on to seventh grade next year that you need. Because there's a lot of things that are covered during this fourth quarter, I know in math, that are going to be things that are introduced that you're going to need to be familiar with for next year. Right? Also, there's an email I sent that has a lot of things in it that you could know ahead of time, like the chart on page 179, the information on geometry, the different uh, shape, geometric shapes and, and line segments and, and all those on those pages. Look at that email. That's going to be, I'm just, I'm just telling you, you need to know those things. It's going to save you a lot. Believe me. All right. Anyway, looking forward to it. Any questions, let me know. I miss you all. I miss the students greatly. 
I know the students right now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mr. Adams, we're not calling you a liar. We just don't believe you. I understand that. <laughs> I get it. But it's true. I do. I do miss you guys. All right. And I know you miss each other in the camaraderie and being there with each other in both classes and so on. Um, but let's get through this. I know you can do it. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing how, how well you do uh, on these classes. Okay. Any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you. Bye-bye.